Before we answer that given, we must know what is well-ordering principle. Well-ordering principles state that every empty set of integers contains a least element, and every non-empty subset of n has a smallest element. Using the well-ordering principle in proof, we can imply principle of mathematical induction. There are three steps when well-ordering implies induction. First, show that p sub 1 is true. Second, assume that pk is true. And last, show that pk plus 1 is true if pk is true. So since we have already knowledge about using well-ordering principle in proof, we can now answer the given statement. Proof 2 to the power of n plus 2 plus 3 to the power of 2n plus 1 is divisible by 7. So the first is show that p sub 1 is true. So since the smallest element of n is 1, so 1 is the value that we're going to substitute in it. So 1 plus 2 is 3, so it, it will become 2 cube. And 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3, so it will become 3 cube. 2 cube is 2 times 2 times 2, it, it will be 8. And 3 cube is 3 times 3 is 9. And times 3 is 27. So 8 plus 27 is equal to 35. And 35 is divisible by 7. Therefore, P sub 1 is true. So the next step is that we assume that 2 to the power of k plus 2 plus 3 to the power of 2k plus 1 is equal to 7m is divisible by 7, where m is an element of positive integer. We just simply substitute the letter k to the letter n. The last step is that we show that 2 to the power of k plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 to the power of 2 times k plus 1 plus 1 is divisible by 7. Or we just simply su simplify the k plus 1 plus 2 and it will become 2 to the power of k plus 3. Or the 2 times k plus 1 plus 1 is that it will become 2k plus 3. And we're going to use this. Show that 2 to the power of k plus 3 plus 3 to the power of 2k plus 3 is divisible by 7. We are going to put down 2 to the power of k plus 3 plus 3 to the power of 2k plus 3. And then we will factor 2 to the power of k plus 3 by 2 times 2 to the power of k plus 3. And we will copy the 3 to the power of 2k plus 3. And since... 2 to the power of k plus 2 plus 3 to the power of 2k plus 1 is equal to 7m. This is the assumption in the step 2 a while ago. And then we will just simply transpose 3 to the power of 2k plus 1 to the right. And then we will have 7m minus 3 to the power of 2k plus 1. And since it is equal to 2 to the power of k plus 2, we can substitute it to this. 2 to the power of k plus 2. So we'll have 2 times 7m minus 3 to the power of 2k plus 1. Then copy 3 to the power of 2k plus 3. We will multiply 2 to 7m. So we'll have 14m. And then 2 to 3 times to the power of 2k plus 1. So we will have 2 times 3 to the power of 2k plus 1. We cannot multiply this since they are not the same. And then we will also factor the 3 to the power of 2k plus 3 by 3 squared plus 3 to the power of 2k plus 1. And we can simplify the 3 squared. So it will become 9 times 3 to the power of 2k plus 1. Since, as you notice, that they are the same, we can simplify that. So it will become 14m plus 7 times 3 to the power of 2k plus 1. And we will factor out this so that it will be um, divisible by 7. So 2 to the power of k plus 3 plus 3 to the power of 2n plus 3 is equal to 7 times 2m plus 3 to the power of 2k plus 1 is divisible by 7. Therefore, we can say that by PMI, 2 to the power of n plus 2 plus 3 to the power of 2n plus 1 is divisible by 7 for all n is an element of a positive integer.